Inside of this box right here, I have the five worst lures known to mankind. Let's take a quick peek. Number one, we've got the chop cut with a propeller that could probably power a small plane. Number two, we've got Tightline UV's plastic right here, which uh, I don't know what they were thinking, but definitely a pretty unique bait. We've got the Freedom Marabou Jig swing head right here. I don't know why you'd ever want to combine these two baits, but Freedom Lures did. Got an oldie but a goodie, the Electronic Lure by Viking, which is basically a robot jerk bait, probably about 30 years old. And the piece de resistance, we have this crankbait right here. I'm not gonna say what exactly it is, but uh, if you look, I think you get the clue. Here's what's going down. We are at a small pond right here. And for this challenge, John B bought me five of the worst fishing lures he could find on the internet. I bought him five of the worst ones that I could find. And we're gonna see who can catch one fish on every bait first. So to get started, it's early morning. We've got to start with the top cut, the only top water. If we're gonna get something on this, now's the time to do it. What an interesting looking big fish bait. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I'm gonna set the hook with the propeller this freaking big, but we're gonna do our best guys. This is gonna be stop number one of many, I think. I'm probably gonna fish many different spots in order to try to catch fish on all these crazy looking baits. Wait a second. Why is the hook on the side of this freaking bait? The hook's not even on the bottom. How does that make any sense whatsoever? Right, let's just tie it on and we'll see how it looks in the water. That's all I can say. It floats. For some reason, it sits on its side. Kind of has a unique buzzing action. I think it can draw strikes, but I'm going to be a little bit skeptical about how the hookup ratio is going to be. All right, let's try to get fish number one, guys. Ooh, the shad by that fountain. Oh, something just freaking popped it. No freaking way. Right when it dropped, in that fountain, there's, I'm not kidding guys, there's probably 300 shad right by the surface. And my bait is all freaking tangled up because of the design of this prop. Nice freaking design on this bait. Getting my line tangled in every which way. Look at this, look at this freaking tangle. Are you kidding me right here? The line twist on this bait is phenomenal. The goal of the challenge was to buy each other the worst baits we could find. So I gotta give credit to John. He definitely found a pretty terrible bait right here. Oh, wait a second. Don't tell me I missed that fish. There's a hook keeper on one of my hook points. If I lost that fish because of this little hook keeper, I'm gonna be extremely upset. Why the heck is there a hook keeper on one of the hooks but not the other five? This bait just keeps making less and less sense. There's one! Oh my! I, I told you guys, this bait is not gonna be able to hook anything. That's two bites from that fountain right there. It's full of shad. I know there's bats hanging right under it. This bait drew two strikes so far, got tangled both times, did not hook anything. Complete garbage bait right here. Truly deserving of the title Worstler. Wait a second. Look at these rocks. This pond right now is about three feet below normal. I mean, this is usually completely covered. Look, this is what these fish are eating. Hold on, let me show you guys this. Right there. Ah, that guy right there. Three inch gizzard shad, I believe. This is what all the, oh, it smells disgusting. That's what all the fish are eating. Ah, nice duck poop crap pond right here. It's off my hands. All right, that should be pretty clean. Zero fish landed on this bait right here. I've been 
fishing for over two hours, went three entire loops around the pond. This is truly one of the worst lures imaginable. To be fair, the action actually isn't that bad. You can fish it with a stop and go retrieve. You can fish it as a straight steady retrieve. It does have some pretty good propeller sputtering spinning action. But the problem, like I imagined when I first saw this bait, hookup ratio is absolutely horrendous. This is a giant prop and it completely gets in the way of setting the hook on any fish that tries to eat this bait. I don't know if many of you know this, but predator species have evolved to try to eat their prey head first. The reason, many prey species actually have a spiny dorsal fin. So if a predator tried to eat them tail first, that prey could get lodged in that predator's throat and the predator could choke. So I'm assuming the two fish that I almost caught tried to eat this bait head first, got impeded by the giant prop and fish got away. Before we head to the next pond, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try throwing one other bait, which is gonna be uh, this guy right here, because we saw the shad in here. So this is a shad imitating bait. It's got some uh, extra light in action for this extremely dingy water. Maybe you can catch something. Guess we gotta open this thing up. I almost feel bad opening it because it looks like an antique, but let's get her open. Let's just take a look at the action. It's actually made of wood. This is a balsa made old crankbait. Some really crappy hooks on this. Tiny, tiny hooks. I would rather just keep this in my collection and never throw it at all. But for this challenge, we're gonna have to open her up. So I believe we're supposed to unscrew this with a screwdriver. Lefty Lucy, nice and gentle. Do not want to break this bait. She's extremely fragile. So the batteries go in here. We've got both batteries. Okay. All right. Now, which way do they go in? I'm assuming they go face down is my guess. I think that might do it. And let's screw this on now. That's it. So what's supposed to happen? The lure will light intermittently in an upright position. Okay, so it should turn on if I hold it like this. Bait? Hello? This thing is probably like 40 years old, so I'm not surprised that these batteries are no good. Who knows, maybe it'll turn on underwater. Let's tie it on and we'll see what happens. Here goes nothing. The Viking electronic lure is going in. It seems to be a floating jerk bait. All right, so this is a floating jerk bait which again is uh, not really ideal because we just fished top water and didn't catch jack crap. Oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, please land this fish, please land this fish, please land this fish, please, 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 it's a big one, oh my god, it's huge, oh, and the boom, holy shit, you guys, have no freaking idea how hard I've been working to catch fish on these horrible, horrible lures. I finally got a good hookup right there. 
There's the bait that did it. Three pounder, three pounder, three pounder. I have been fishing for so many freaking hours. This is by far the most difficult challenge I've ever attempted in my entire freaking life. It has been an absolute grind out here. Finally got fish number one on the boat. Thank you so much, girl. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I think you guys probably recognize where I am. Second time I've ever been here. Found this spot on Google Maps. We found a bite. Now we need to catch some more fish. I am just in a state of shock that I actually caught something. I was, I thought I'd be out here all freaking week grinding day in, day in, day out, all night long and catching like one fish every 24 hours. This has actually been absolutely insane. All right, we're putting away the top water. That's the only top water we've got. We're gonna go to the moving bait, the electronic lure. This thing is absolutely a piece of garbage. It doesn't light up. It doesn't work as it's supposed to. And to top it off, it's filled with water. So now it sinks, but we're gonna tie it on. Let's try to get fish number two. So what we've done is we've added a snap onto my line to try to give this crappy bait a little bit of extra action because it literally just looks like a piece of wood in the water, but it's all good. We're gonna get this done. I'm pissed now. I'm not gonna let these fish beat me. I don't care how bad these lures are. I'm gonna get one fish on each and every one of them. Oh, something just swirled on it. Dang it, right at the bank. Something just popped. I don't know what the hell that was. Oh, 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 yes! Let's freaking go. I was pulling the bait out of the water. This little dink came up and ate the electronic lure. Barely got him on one of the worst treble hooks I've ever seen in my life. This bait, John, you let me know, but I'm guessing this bait is probably 40 to 50 years old. Look at that, look at the design on it. That's, that's straight out of the 60s right there. That's two down, baby. We're finally catching some fish. Things are going well. Before we switch baits, I've got to say, this is one of the worst hard baits I've ever seen, period. Before I added the snap, it had literally zero action. And even with the snap, it looks very, very funky underwater, has some weird side to side rolling action, a bunch of water invaded the cavity of the bait. All in all, just a terribly designed, poorly executed bait would not recommend. Electronic lure, complete. Up next, you know, we just caught a three pounder. So we're actually gonna go with one of our bigger baits, which is gonna be right here. Tight lines UV, this crazy looking plastic, Radlin hybrid hog. Look at that thing. That thing is gonna hopefully catch the pig at this little pond. We're rigged up. We've got a 3 16th ounce weight connected to a four aught super line hook. And we've got this monstrosity of a bait. All I can say is thank goodness we've got extremely stained water, probably from all the duck poop. And we've got an algae bloom because I cannot imagine any type of fish wanting to eat this particular bait in clearish water. That's a bite. Oh, shit. Dang it, dude. Dang it. That was like, ah, you're swimming with it. Ah, the hook's exposed. It must've been a small fish. Oh, man. What I just did, I wasn't getting any bites. So I smelled the bait. It smelled like poison. I loaded it up with attractant on the body. I put a crawfish scent, then on the tail dipped in JJ's magic. Two casts in, got a hit. See if we can get another. Oh yeah, smells like a garlic pizza right now. Dang. That was a big blow up, guys. That was a huge blow up. I'm gonna hunt that fish. I got a visual on him. I know where it is. Alright, it's mine. 
Right there, baby. Come to daddy. You got it. I got him. Oh, he got off. Damn it. I told you. Holy bejizo. Had I not hooked that fish. As you guys can probably tell, we are at a new pond here. And it's looking uh, kind of overgrown at this end of the pond at least. But I've been here before. I know this fish. I have a good feeling about this. Unfreaking believable. I couldn't buy a bite right now if my freaking life depended on it. Oh, let's bite, bite, bite. Yes! Get in the boat! Come on! Finally! Let's freaking go, baby! That is bait number three! Right under the dock, skipped it in there. I don't even know what day we're on, but we got another fish! Finally! All right, let's not get so hyped, guys. Calm down. Just a bass. Nice 12-incher. And yes, I did cheat a little bit. I took off those dumb looking skirts on this bait just to help me catch something. I mean, this guy probably would have bit anyways, because look where we're fishing. Look at this. Look where we're fishing right here. Let, let this guy go. I'm sure you recognize this pond. It is completely dried up. It's probably down about four feet or so. I mean, it's crazy out here. Absolutely crazy. Whew. Let's go to the next bait. So real quick, here's the underwater view of this hybrid style brush hog slash beaver bait. I mean, without the skirt, it doesn't look that bad. I don't know why I struggled so much to catch a fish on it, but it took me over seven hours of fishing this one bait in four to five different ponds for me to finally hook something. I literally just rolled out of bed. I mean, didn't even put in my contacts. My dog chewed a hole through this shirt last night. It's been a rough past couple days, but we are gonna Put away our tight lines UV and move to bait number four. It's the Freedom Marabou Jig. This guy right here, which is uh, kind of just a hair jig on a swinging jig head. Honestly, I don't think it's gonna be that hard to catch a fish on it, but who freaking knows? I've been fishing many, many hours. I don't even know anymore. We're gonna try to make it happen. never know guys you just never freaking know what's down there oh it's a good attempt oh that's him that's him that's him that's him that's the no. number four we have almost completed this challenge. All I can say is, thank goodness, this fish did not take me 10 hours. Oh my God, what the? Hold on a second, guys. What is going on with this fish? That thing is pussing. That's disgusting. It has some weird pus injury right there. That is absolutely, oh, there's no way this fish is gonna live that long. I don't even wanna touch that. Let's just poke at it for a second. Little pustules. Ew, disgusting. I don't know what happened to this guy if a bird tried to peck on him or what, but this guy ain't doing too good. Not very healthy. See ya, bud. All right, guys, we are down to our final bait an ultra deep diving, unusual looking crankbait, we'll say. We're gonna need to make a move because this little pond is way too shallow. <sighs> Oh, oh, alley -oop. Ah! <sighs> we made it, guys. Our final destination. We are at a gigantic deep reservoir right here. This is where dreams are made. This has been one heck of a long journey. All I can say is 
I have never spent this long on a single video in my entire life. Three entire days. I have not showered once. I have not changed clothing once. Why? I don't know, but I didn't do it. All I can say is we have one final bait to catch fish on. And John has really got something interesting in this box. Right here, guys. The most unique fishing lure I've ever seen in my life. I call this the Pen 15 crankbait. Let's tie it on and get this challenge over with. Time to pull this bad boy out. Grab him by the tip, gently. Let's just examine this bait. The craftsmanship is actually pretty impressive. Not made of wood, as I expected. Has a little rattle, made of plastic. Has a giant lip right here. So it's gonna dive ultra, ultra deep, which is fine, I guess. I, I would prefer a shallow diving crankbait, but it is what it is. The hooks, not particularly good, but not terrible either. Let's see how she swims in the water. I never thought I'd say this, but it's time to go thought fishing. Floats, looks quite unique on top of the water. Let's give it, oh my, there's a fish right there. That was a fish. Wait a second. This action is actually insane. This is the most insane fishing bait I've ever seen in my life. Holy bejizo. Wait a second, is it actually made of wood? I've never seen a plastic bait float like this before. Look at the way it moves. What the, f this is insane. This action on this bait is absolutely one of a kind. This is actually, this might actually be legit. This might actually catch me a monster. Do you guys see what I'm seeing right there? Look at the side to side motion of this bait. That is phenomenal. Okay, it's game over guys. I'm about to catch a freaking giant. So, because it dives so deep and has such a unique action, I'm gonna go for some very steep drop offs. And I honestly think we're gonna catch something huge. What we need to do is find some steep banks littered with rocks, throw this bait in there, have it dive all the way down there, smash into everything we can, and that is the way we're gonna catch the big mama fish, guaranteed. Defeated yet again. Ah! Oh, sh ah! 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 I'm not gonna get any further. I'm done. Defeated once again by the worst lure fishing challenge. Just like last time, I caught fish on every bait except for one. And to be honest, the bait, this bait right here had some pretty dang good action. I was overall very impressed with it. All I can say is I will definitely fish with this bait in the future and catch some monsters on it. But for now, big thanks to my boy John B, who actually came up with the idea to do the worst lure fishing challenge. So what I want you guys to do, click the link down below, go over to his channel, watch his video of the five baits I sent to him. I have no idea what he caught. He might have caught in five fish, zero fish, a hundred fish. Watch this video, come back here, and comment down below who you think the winner is. And that's gonna about do it for now. Ah, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned for some more epic challenges in the future.